Hi, Lourdes. Good morning to you. Yes, yeah, so much going on both at night and during the day. We're at McCormick Place right now. It turns out a lot of the lawmakers are beginning to lose their voices, and that includes Mayor Brandon Johnson, who had to apologize at the Illinois delegates' breakfast because his voice was a little raspy from such a big night last night. He, from that breakfast, is headed here to McCormick Place for the Black Caucus meeting. At the Illinois delegates' breakfast, Democrats are still savoring last night's energy. Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock and the Transportation Secretary joining the group. Are you ready to win this election? Are you ready to fight for the soul of our country? Are you ready to fight for the beloved community that embraces all of us, red, yellow, brown, black, and white? Would you rather be part of the politics of darkness and grievance and anger? That was getting old the first time. And as the great Chicagoan President Obama reminded us last night, the sequel is usually worse. I mean, they changed up the cast a little bit, but I'm not sure that's an improvement. At least Mike Pence was kind of polite. Last night, Barack and Michelle Obama made their case for Kamala Harris while describing what another four years of Trump could bring. It is one of the oldest tricks in politics. From a guy who has, let's face it, gotten pretty stale. We do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. In a pair of 30-minute speeches, they described what a Harris administration would look like. That's what we've seen from Kamala Harris, the steel of her spine the steadiness of her upbringing, the honesty of her example, and yes, the joy of her laughter and her light. And at some of these caucus meetings, they're relying on some celebrities today to hype up the crowd. At the Black Caucus, John Legend, the musician, just finished speaking. And at the Hispanic Caucus, I am told Eva Longoria, the actress, also made an appearance. We'll have more on uh, both of those meetings coming up on the news at noon. Reporting live from McCormick Place, Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.